Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to science's number one underground event, Chemistry Deathmatch! Introducing the laboratory's answer to Hulk Hogan, straight out of the University of Sunderland, Professor John Chemical Kilcoyne! And his opponent, Chemistry's answer to a slap in the face, straight out of his mum's house, where he still lives. It's science's biggest loser, Dr. Bad Hat. Thank you, and welcome to this 10-round battle to be crowned the king of chemistry. And this week, it's round one, as the science heavyweights slug it out to see who can produce the most lifelike sound of a living creature. Gentlemen. Touch. Now I want a good, clean fight. Now return to your corners and prepare your chemicals. Coyne is replicating a dog bark using nitric oxide and carbon disulfide gas, or CS2. Bunhead worryingly going for the scream of a child. He's using chlorate and his secret weapon, a jelly baby. And there it is for you chemistry fans. It's time to put the action into reaction. Bunhead, please produce your sonic effect. So it's Bunhead to go first with his screaming sound. Well, the potassium chlorate's oxidising the sugary infant and vast quantities of oxygen are blowing out of the test tube, but sadly producing more of a gargle than a scream. Professor, please produce your sonic effect. And with all to play for, it's Professor Kilcoyne with the sound effect of a barking dog. Oh! Surely that's a knockout blow there. The carbon disulfide is oxidised and the combustion wave travels down the tube, compressing the gas until the residual mixture explodes with the noise of a barking dog. Magnificent. And it's time for the judge's verdict. And it's a unanimous decision for Kilcoyne! Next time, our titans of titration compete to produce the biggest bang. Rumble.